My dog Tula just won't stop itching. These are three things that you can give that are gonna hopefully stop my dog and your dog itching fast. My YouTube channel is all about natural pet health and wellness, and if you like what I'm talking about, I'd love for you to click down there and subscribe to my channel, and then never miss a video. Don't forget to click a little bit lower and sign up for notifications. So you guys, earlier this morning, I was resting quietly, still sleeping, hoping to sleep longer. But I woke up to this. Somebody scratching, they're really itchy. They're unable to be settled. Oh. Oh. So say you've got a dog with a similar condition. I can imagine how you feel because I'm having some of those same experiences myself. Super frustrating. You're like, you want to do something, you want to stop the itching. I mean, at the same time, it can be a little bit crazy making, just that chronic itching and scratching and scratching and itching. You want to give relief to your dog as well as relief to your family. First, I want to show you guys her skin. The main thing that's going on with Tula is she's got this really dry, flaky skin. And from what I can see, it's just dry, dry skin has caused this intense itching. Um, a few weeks ago, she happened to be in contact with a few different dogs that had lice. And I was able to find a few different knits. So there's a lice eggs on her. She's been treated for lice. So the, the lice aren't an issue. But now what's happened, and it may be as a result of the treatment, she's got this dry, flaky, itchy skin. And... It's sort of progressed to the point where she's just chronically itching, especially at night when she tries to settle. Wherever I part her hair, you should be able to see all these white specks. All in here, if you look at my finger, that's all dandruff or just dry, dry skin. And generally what dandruff means is you've got skin normally grows, skin, skin, cell, skin cells die, they age, they fall, fall off. There's a normal rate to that, but with Tula's here, it's abnormal. It's much more than normal. So there are three things I'm going to use for Tula and I'd have you consider using if your dog has this dry, itchy, flaky skin. So the first big thing is adding in additional essential fatty acids, be it in the form of flax oil, be it in the form of fish oil. There is some thought that a fish oil may be slightly more effective. What I have here is an omega-3 um, fish oil supplement. And the total dose in each one of these capsules is, they're pretty big ones, but it's a thousand milligrams. So for little Tula, I'm going to be giving her one of these capsules, a thousand milligrams twice a day. So a thousand milligrams for 20 pounds of body weight. And I'm doing that twice daily because she's so intensely itchy. The next big thing is this one, curcumin. I've talked about it in a variety of different videos for a variety of different things. Um, but in particular, curcumin is seen as probably one of the most important um, herbal anti-inflammatories that is safe and also showing to be fairly effective against a broad range of different conditions. When we're looking at curcumin doses, it depends on the amount that it is absorbed. In general, I'm talking about doses of about 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. And that's of the standard 95% curcumin. All right, little well, Tula. Yum. Okay. The last one I want to try is this. It's licorice tincture. So it's a herb which many of the herbalists consider sort of the natural steroid. So we're trying to ha replicate some of the effects of prednisone. For instance, with the skin, we're trying to decrease the itching. Um, many people think that this would be a real good substitute for that. And when we're looking at doses of the licorice, we're looking at about a half a mil for 20 pounds of body weight, twice daily, the most for three to five days. So if you look at our, I think you can see it. There's, more, there's lines um, on this little, tincture here itself or on the dropper and there's the half a mil mark right there that's what Tula's getting I'm gonna get a half a mil now a half a mil later tonight okay Tula here's your yummy licorice yum 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 oh okay I 
Hi you guys. Now it's the morning, early-ish. We're gonna find out just how well this all worked. First, some sad news if you happen to be a Canadian women's hockey fan. Yes, the US women, women's goal hockey and judo to end the Canadian Olympic hockey reign. Uh, so Tula slept last night in my daughter's bed and we'll, we want to find out if the curcumin, the essential fatty acid, and the licorice made a difference to helping her sleep better. So Eliza, what happened? How did she sleep? She slept. She did not itch. So here is the happier itching last poodle. Uh, did it work 100% and she completely stopped itching, you know, similar to giving an injection of dexamethasone? No. Um, but did it, have I seen a dramatic improvement w with her? Yes, I have. She's just less itchy and that's only just been, what, not even 24 hours. Uh, it's been probably about 18 hours. So that's been two doses of the, of the curcumin, the essential fatty acid, as well as the licorice. So thank you guys for watching this edition of Venery Secrets. I'd love for you to click down there to like this video. Click up there to subscribe to my channel. Then lastly, click that link directly in the box below. And then when you do that and you sign up for my newsletter, I can send you my free books, my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.